1.3 million people came to see robots in Beijing. Yes, even humanoids that look surprisingly real. But after three days inside, I realized that was only the surface of something much bigger. In the heart of Beijing, where old walls remain, a kingdom of robots now enters the frame. Not made of skin, not built to feel, but shaped by code and framed in steel. No breath, no heart, no pulse, no pain. Just silent strength, machine, and brain. For 10 full years, they've gathered here. Engineers, dreamers, the robotic frontier. This is no expo. This is no show. This is the World Robot Conference, where breakthroughs flow. The year is 2025, and the mission is clear. The robots are not coming. The robots are here. Now we enter. The machines are waiting. Some walk, some see, some think. Each one shows us something new. It begins with wings. A body no heavier than a golf ball, flapping 15 to 20 times each second. This is the bionic bee from Festo. No honey, no hive, but it can slip into places too narrow, too fragile, too dangerous for larger drones. But wonder takes many forms, from wings above us to paws upon the ground. This is serious. A dog. It trots, it bows, it wags. And then, mischief. A sudden lift of the hind leg. So familiar, so absurd. No fur, no breath, no bark. Proof that charm needs no heartbeat to be felt. And play can surprise us still, sometimes with mischief, sometimes with metamorphosis. The victory infinity, drifting. Proof that even in the most serious halls of science, we still chase the magic of play. From playful gestures to practical service. In the corner, the Xbot Cafe. A single arm, precise and patient. Serving one cone every 40 seconds. Not spectacle, not play, just service. A glimpse of how the ordinary may soon be shared with robots. And sometimes that same precision takes another stage, not to serve, but to perform. On a small platform, the Hexwan robot band begins. Fingers press piano keys. Drumsticks rise and fall. A clarinet lifted, though no breath will come. The timing wobbles, the gestures stiff, yet unmistakably music. From stage to field, the rhythm shifts. This is Booster. Its cameras find the ball. The leg swings. Such a simple thing, a kick. Yet for this machine, an achievement. What takes us no thought at all demands everything this robot has. And still, it succeeds.
We begin with the task we all know, making the bed. Here, a robot from Galaxia Dynamics takes on the task. It grips the comforter, lifts, spreads, each motion careful, almost hesitant. It is not yet ready for daily life. But this is no simple machine. It perceives, decides, and acts. And one day, we may look back on these early beginnings and marvel at how far they had yet to go. And beyond the home, another scene unfolds, from the quiet of a bedroom to the bustle of a hall. Here, robots meet us across the table, not to entertain, but to challenge, to teach. This is Sense Robot Chess from Sense Time, the world's first home chess playing robot. It sees the board, lifts each piece with precision, and plays. 1,200 guided lessons adapt as the player grows in skill. A glimpse of how robots help us learn. From robots that teach us to robots that serve us, the setting changes, yet the purpose remains the same, to bring robotics into daily life. At a concession stand, the rhythm is steady and familiar. Snacks and drinks passed across the counter. But here the attendant is not human. It is Galbot. Across the floor it glides, not stiff or mechanical, but smooth, like a figure skater on ice. Elsewhere, Galbot stacks crates. Two settings, two tasks, the same remarkable grace. From the counter to the crowd, popcorn scooped and served. Kenan's humanoid does it slowly, each motion deliberate. The point is not speed. It is the form, a human shape, carrying out a modest act with quiet precision. And elsewhere, the focus shifts again not to food, but to the supermarket checkout line. Scanning, bagging, tying, everyday task we all know. Here they are taken on by Cybot. The pace is slow, the motion's awkward, and yet it is notable. Even in these clumsy first attempts, we see engineering meeting the real world. Yet not all movements are clumsy. Here, two humanoids from Spirit AI balance trays of beer, an unexpected show of balance and control. Elsewhere, the mood is different. The careful work of the laboratory. These are Coronetics humanoid robots. They handle vials and instruments in pharmaceutical labs, guided by touch and sight. They measure, pour, and transfer with a steadiness no human hand can sustain. This is not spectacle, but science. An ambition to create robots that learn, adapt, and one day make discoveries on their own. From careful tasks, we turn to speed, skill, and robots built to stun. A humanoid from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Not designed as an archer, yet it draws the bow. To hold this pose, to make this shot, it commands every joint in perfect coordination.
Precision is one test, endurance is another. This is Tian Gong Ultra from the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center. The first humanoid to finish a half marathon, 21 kilometers in two hours, 40 minutes. Here in Beijing, it runs again. Each step, a trial of balance and stamina. And beyond the race, it works. Lifting from a conveyor. Operating a control box with steady hands. For its makers, the lesson is clear. Endurance is not only for sport, but for the long shifts of industry. Endurance proves a robot can last, but others test strength and speed. In the ring with headgear and gloves stands the Unitree G1, a full-sized humanoid sparring beneath the lights. Boxing is not the surprise, its presence is. And its price? At $22,000, this humanoid costs a fraction of rivals. The message is clear, a full-sized humanoid within reach. Some robots run, others fight, but the next must climb. This is Tita. It crouches, then hops upstairs like a grasshopper. Engineers imagine it inspecting tunnels, patrolling work sites, ferrying items where wheels alone fail. Its purpose may be open, but its motion is unforgettable. After unusual motion comes something instantly familiar, the everyday act of making a cup of coffee. This is the DexForce W1 Pro, a yellow humanoid and a chef's hat. A familiar ritual, now carried out by robots built in our own shape. From the comfort of coffee to the edge of suspense, where one slip could shatter glass, this is ABB's robotic arm threading between wine glasses, each move within millimeters of breaking them. The same precision that builds smartphones and places parts smaller than a fingernail. Strength guided by delicacy. From movements measured in millimeters to gestures large enough to fill a hall, delicacy gives way to sheer scale. This is Saya Sun's giant robotic arm, vast, industrial, yet raised high in a slow human wave. Built for heavy work, it towers above the crowd. And in that simple greeting, steel and power take on a strangely human presence. Here the line begins to blur. No longer just machines of steel, but faces, forms, and gestures that mirror our own. This is Shia Lan, from Digital Huaxia. Nearby, Elephant Aintai goes further, figures with model-like features, skin shining beneath the lights, lips moving in song. They do not walk, they do not work. More theme park theater than factory floor. Their purpose is performance, to draw crowds with beauty made artificial. Yet the effect is striking. When synthetic lips form words, we feel something stir. And we must ask, how closely should they resemble us? Where some robots stand frozen in song, others are defined by motion. Here it is the way they move that holds our attention. We see robots from both Magic Lab and Engine AI. Humanoids and quadrupeds step and dance together fluid and graceful. They perform, but behind the display lies strength. These machines carry loads, mimic human gestures, and already work in factories. Nearby, Paxini staged a different test. Three wheeled humanoids, side by side. This is the Toro One. It feels like choreography, but it is a test of control. The same coordination guiding three is built for factories where teams of robots must work together, never colliding, always aligned.
We came to see progress. What we found was presence. Robots that do not live, yet move with intention. Some blink, some bow, some balance. Each is a small answer to a larger question. What will we ask them to become? Not every form will last, not every design will endure. But at the World Robot Conference 2025, we saw something unmistakable, a future not imagined, but engineered. Some of these machines may change the world, others already have. Automatic Addison.